Well, after criticizing the former president for accepting the invite to the RSS event, the Grand Old Party has now made a U-turn after Pranab Mukherjee's address yesterday. Congress leader Pradeep Singh Surjewala hailed the former president for showing the mirror of truth to the Sangh by reminding them of India's pluralism, tolerance and secularism. Congress, which seemed to be in damage control mode, put up the question of uh, whether the RSS is ready to change path and accept the sagacious advice uh, given by the former president. Ironically, just before uh, the address, Congress leader Anand Sharma had tweeted, Congress workers are anguished to see Pranab Mukherjee sharing stage with Mohan Bhagwat. In fact, just minutes before Pranab's speech, Congress leaders released a video mocking RSS, reflecting clear disapproval to their attendance of Mukherjee at this event. Indian nationalism emanated from universalism, the philosophy of Basudhaiva Kutumbakam, Sarve Shukhina Bhavantu, Sarve Shantu Nirama. We see the whole world as one family and pray for the happiness and good health of all. Manifestations of rage are tearing our social fabrics. Every day we see increased violence around us. At the heart of this violence is the darkness, fear and mistrust. We must free our public discourse from all forms of violence, physical as well as verbal. Only a non-violent society can ensure the participation of all sections of people in the democratic process, especially the marginalized and the dispossessed. We must move from anger, violence, and conflict to peace, harmony, and happiness. We may argue, we may agree, we may not agree, but we cannot deny the essential prevalence of multiplicity of opinion. Only through a dialogue can we develop the understanding to solve the complex problems without an unhealthy strife within our polity. India's nationhood is not one language, one religion, one entity. When I shut my eyes and dream of India, from Mijoram to Dwarka, from snow-capped Himalayan to way west, was Cape Comodin. I mesmerize how it is possible 1.3 billion people use more than 122 languages and 1,600 dialects in their everyday life practice seven major religions in their everyday life, belong to three major ethnic groups, Caucasians, Dravidians, and Mongolites. Yet, under one system, one flag, one constitution, and one identity, which we may call Bharatiya. Indian. Now let's uh, listen into some of the political reactions from the BJP and the Congress on this story. Sri Parnam Mukherjee has shown the mirror of truth to RSS at RSS headquarters in Nagpur itself by reminding them of India's pluralism, India's tolerance, India's secularism and India's inclusiveness being an article of faith and soul of our country. We hope the RSS will reflect and change what should be changed. My message is to the RSS is, instead of criticizing us, they should look inwards after Pranabji's talk and also give up the pretense 
for being a social and cultural organization. Our Pranam Mukherjee saying dialogue. What dialogue? Whichever dialogue. So you want to make dialogue and discussion to solve the problem. Yes. When you are the president for five years, uh, uh, at that time, we, why you have not taken initiate? That is the main point. Five years you are the president of India. At that time, the RSS, the camps, you have not gone there. After you, president time is over. Now today you are attending. Let me go across to my colleague Meetu Jain, who is joining me for more on the story. Meetu, the Congress now in the damage control mode. Uh, they should have waited for the former president to, in fact, speak. Now, whatever they say will be reek of double standards. That's right. In fact, even after the speech yesterday and when uh, people asked the Congress party as to what the reaction was, you just heard what Randeep Singh Surjewala said. He said that, you know, uh, Pranam Mukherjee has shown the mirror of tolerance of inclusiveness and secularism to the to the rss in the den of the rss when anand sharma was asked what he thought of the speech and the fact that had he not overreacted anand sharma was very very clear he said despite uh, you know what pranam mukherjee said the fact that he praised hegreva the fact that there was no national anthem the fact that there was no mention of the mahatma uh, you know mahatma gandhi who was uh, assassinated by a member of the rss as they say and also the fact that there was no national flag. These are images that are distinctly. And today also remember the interesting thing is that where Manish Tiwari is concerned, Manish Tiwari has again hit out at Pranam Mukherjee saying that what was the need for Pranam Mukherjee if he had to talk of nationalism, what was the need for him to go actually to the RSS headquarters and make a you know, make a speech there. You know, he could have always talked about nationalism anywhere. So despite the official word coming in from the Congress party, the fact that, you know, the Pranam Mukherjee has shown the mirror of inclusiveness to the RSS, the point does remain that there are differing voices within, within the Congress who are still attacking Pranam Mukherjee for going and making that speech at the RSS headquarters. And like Sharmishta Mukherjee would say, the speech would be forgotten, the images will remain. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us with all those uh, details. Uh, we're going to come back to you for more uh, on this, Me too. Now, after former President Pranam Mukherjee addressed the RSS trainees at Nagpur, his daughter has hit out at the BJP RSS yet again. Sharmishna Mukherjee retweeted a morph image of Pranab doing the RSS-style salute and said, See, this is exactly what I was fearing and warned my father about. Not even few hours have passed, but BJP RSS Dirty Tricks Department is in full swing. Sharmista also responded to trolls accusing her of tweeting against her father only because it was asked of her by UPA chairperson Sonia Gandhi. Remember, Sharmista had warned her father against attending the RSS trainee event in Nagpur. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel, We Know You Would Love To.